think I did not too bad using not well god <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another nail video. So a while ago I got asked if I could do some winter inspired wedding nails so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to sculpt my nails again so these are from Nao. This is Snow White Premix Glow. I have had this for literally not donkey's years, literally unicorn years. It's a very very long time. Uh, I haven't got that much left but I think it'll do for this. I'm going to be using these, I don't even know what you call them, white balls. They sort of look like a bit like snow. Again I had these for, in some gift mail a long time ago. Next thing is some striping tape. I don't think I've ever used striping ta tape so much. I've used it on this design as well. This one's in white. This one was from Model Ones. And I think I'm going to be using some magical white snowflakes from Smiley's Glitter Store. Nope. I will be using some other things on the way but to start off with I'm just going to prep my nails, put the nail forms on and then sculpt myself some nails and then I can take the nail forms off, off and carry on from there. Okay, so I've decided to do my thumb and ring finger as a stiletto nail. Uh, they're going to be a bit bigger than I'm used to, so I hope I can, I can cope with them. Uh, but wedding nails, you want them to be nice and feminine, not, well, to me anyway, not like dead short and stuff. So yeah, they are going to be a bit longer. Again, I'm doing this with my non-dominant hand. I know I sculpted my left hand, but that was doing it with my dominant hand. So yeah, these are going to take me a while longer. I was working on my left hand for about six hours, uh, so yeah, this might take me about three days. <laughs> Alright, so all of them are done now. So as I said, my thumb and ring finger are stilettos, and then the rest are ballerina shaped. Boy, they are long. I'm not going to be able to do anything. All right, so I'm just going to file these into a bit better shape um, and then we'll get on with the winter wedding nails. Right, so then we're all filed now. So on the nails that are ballerina shaped, I'm going to put Nao's flawless nail bed on there. Um, I think I'm just going to fade it down and not do a nail bed as such and then I'm going to get the white and just fade it into that. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with my ring finger and thumb just now but I'm just going to concentrate on them, put extra little things in that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing so <laughs> I'm literally 
like making this up as I go along. So with my ring finger and thumb, I think I'm just going to put the nail bed on and, and just put clear over the whole entire nail because I think I'm going to do something else with these two nails which might look pretty cool or it might be a flop so that's what I'm going to do for them two Okay, so I filed and buffed them. They took a long time to file and buff because they're so long, crazy. Okay, so the next part of the design is this. I'm using this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be using some white striping tape. Nope. A lock and a key of these stickers from Neo. I think I'm gonna be using these ones. These also glow in the dark. Nope. This Phoenix Glitter Mermaid powder, which I couldn't get the hang of when I reviewed it, I'm now going to use it in this video. Together with that, I'm using it with some Perfect White by Madame Glam. This is the Stringy Gel, I think it's called, in white. Nope. And I might do some flowers, I don't know yet. So there's a lot going on. I think I've showed you everything I'm using now. I will just go along and get on with it because I'm not quite sure where anything's going at the moment. Okay, so now I've put them stickers on. I'm going to top coat all the nails because I think whatever I pour on after 
it will make it easier and then if I need to top coat again I will do so yeah I'm gonna use Bao Bao's diamond shine top coat and then cure for 60 seconds All right, so I've got some of the white gel polish. I'll put it on the back of a nail form, the shiny side, so I can use it. And I'm getting a small liner brush. So I'm maybe gonna do some lines and squiggles and stuff and then put the mermaid powder over that. You know, left-handed as well. Don't hold out much hope, but <laughs> oh, gotta give it a try. So lastly I'm going to put some bling on. So what I'm going to put these on is with Wow Bow's top coat. I'm just going to put a little dabs of where I want these crystals going. And then once they're on, I've got a torch which my mum got me. It's like an LED little lamp torch thing. And this keeps them on until I want to get them off. And they're so easy to get off. I don't know how they stop on. I swear I don't know how they stop on. Alright guys, well that is the end of this week's video for my... Wedding nails, I think I did not too bad using, not, well, good. I don't think I did too bad using my non-dominant hand. It does get easier and easier the more years, <laughs> years you're doing nails for. This turned into sort of happy accident. I didn't pour enough um, clear on the bottom of there, but it, as it turned out, it just looks like snow turning into nothing because these nails are clear anyway. So, it, you know, it didn't really make any difference. And then these two nails go together with a lock and key. How cute! I love that! I haven't done anything like that before. There they are, all close up. So for the girl who asked for a winter wedding nail design, I hope these turned out okay for you. As always, I will try and link everything that I've used today in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys!